Welcome. This is Rap Stutter Reviews. I'm Zach. And I'm Carly. And this is our first ever review. We are reviewing Alita Battle Angel. Angel. And, okay. Synopsis time. Yeah. Alita Battle Angel stars Rosa Salazar and Christoph Waltz in a story about Alita, (laughs) the Battle Angel. Basically, the the storyline takes place in, I think it was... uh, 2,538, something like that. Something like that. Basically and 500 years in the very future. Very far in the future. And Christoph Waltz's character finds uh, Alita in a scrapyard in a futuristic city where above them is a floating city where all the like, high society people live, and then they are living in the dump city. And so basically he finds her android body left over in the scrapyard and like, fixes her and gives things, her a new body yeah and things happen and she finds things out about herself and basically a mystery unravels so that's the basic synopsis of the movie i feel like it's actually kind of basic plot line in yeah, a way yeah kind of but so carly what do you did you think of alita battle angel wow i thought that i don't know it was really entertaining the like, it kept me interested the entire time. The, there were some, like, slow points where the plot kind of, like, I don't know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, okay, like, let's move it along. Or they, like, would focus on things that, yeah. like, didn't make quite a lot of sense. But overall, I don't know. Like, I would yeah. see it again. It was good. Yeah, Maybe like... not in IMAX 3D worth, like, $25 to go see it. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we saw an IMAX 3D, it cool. and it it was really good. Like, the 3D I mean, was good. The CGI was, like, Yeah, if you're going to go to a James Cameron movie, I feel like it's kind of... And you have yeah. access to an IMAX theater, I mean, you got to do it. Cause yeah. It definitely paid off. The visuals were yeah. unreal. It, you could definitely tell that, like, they put a lot of time and effort into the visuals and making it yeah. a really authentic adaptation in terms of at least the visual part of it. Totally. And, yeah, like, okay, I guess first, yeah, we'll go over the strengths of the movie and then we can go over, like, kind of things that we're like, eh. And then eventually we can talk about spoilers and stuff and we'll, you know, let you guys know about that. Yeah, and, good morning. <laughs> right. I just gotta make sure it's still recording. Yeah, yes, it's it still recording. Okay. Good. Audio. That's what we need. Audio. <laughs> we need audio. <laughs> but We're uh, fumble through these first couple of ones. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get it down to science eventually. Yeah. But basically, uh, so the good things about the movie were, ob- as we already said, like the visuals were fantastic. Yeah, the CGI yeah. was incredible. Like, of course, some people will say they're wigged out by like her big eyes and stuff, and it honestly didn't bother me. I wasn't bothered at all. Just because. I was just in awe the entire time of how realistic she looked. Like, yeah. you could see the pores on her face and, like, all of the little minute, like... Yeah. I don't know, it, was, it was really amazing. And, like, it was pretty cool. To, it, like, the only times where I could tell of CGI was just when she was surrounded by other CGI characters. But when she was yeah. next to a real human, it didn't... Like, it wasn't, like, a disconnect or anything like yeah. that. And that was probably... That's definitely the most impressive part of the movie. Yeah. Just the sheer visual quality. There wasn't like Uncanny Valley, Grand Marf Tarkin from Rogue One, <laughs> uh, Leia from the end of Rogue One effects or anything yeah. like that. But yeah. That's pretty legit. <laughs> um, oh, the yes. action. The oh, movie. yeah, the action was really cool. It was definitely its own style. Who did, in the movie, they say that she learned it from. Oh, yeah. Something. The, the, I don't know. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. So, obviously, it's an anime. You yell at me. Y- yeah. It's just <laughs> spoilers because yeah. I'm horrible at that. Yeah. Um, minor. Well, she didn't specify what it was. But, yeah, yeah. Basically, the action is very much like if you're in, if you like anime, and I like anime, but I don't watch very much of it. Like, if you enjoy anime action, I think it was like a really good translation of like the kind of over the top stuff Definitely. from anime because anime all almost all anime action is just like over the top like crazy stuff yeah because in the movie there wasn't any uh, like normal i don't even know if normal's the right word but there wasn't any like normal like punching or like yeah fight it was all like that acrobatic. just like oh like normal people could fight like this but yeah it was all cgi acrobat yeah it's like yeah very over the top but yeah. really cool <laughs> yeah uh, she's a badass basically yeah 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <And> <laughs> the world building was really yeah. good. Like, uh, I didn't get the sense that they were really dumping exposition and like really explaining mm-hmm. a ton of things to you. It was more like they like she wakes up and she doesn't have her memory and they kind of give her brief explanations as to what the world is like and they do a lot of visual storytelling instead of just telling you so like they give you a lot of shots of the city a lot of different perspectives on everything inferred things that happened yeah i know we were talking in the car that i really it I don't know, it makes me really interested to see, like, the second movie, if there is one, because it definitely ended with... Yeah, it ended with, like, a... I wouldn't say sequel bait, but it obviously was, if this movie's successful, we'll definitely make a sequel. Which, while we're talking positive still, I would enjoy to see a sequel. That would help flesh out some of the stuff that we, like, are interested in. And, yeah, so, basically, amazing CGI and visuals... The action was really fun, and like whenever something action was happening on the screen, like you were engaged and like right there. And then, uh, yeah, the world building was really good. And those are basically the biggest things going for Akira is that it, it's a really good film to end. Like or Akira, oh, yeah. I I've been doing this forever. <laughs> I, I don't I like make keep mixing up yeah. Akira and Alita for some reason, and I haven't even seen either of them. I just know Akira is another it's popular one of those days. anime. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let me on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I guess we can now move on to the negatives. What did you not like about the movie, hmm. Carly? I didn't love, or I, I don't know, I wasn't crazy about the love story. I don't know, it felt kind of on the nose, but at the same time, I know we talked about this a lot, we like have discussions in the car where I'm like, we should just be filming those, but alas. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just... It was nice because it showed her like how human she was and Alita was so willing to just like love like her life, her new life and the world she was in. She was so, she's like very like wide eyed, bushy tailed about everything. Yeah, literally so, wide eyed. Literally. <laughs> so that was, it kind of helped like, I don't know, make that very clear, but it was also just weirdly paced and there were like yeah. scenes that didn't really need to be in there, like you were saying. Yeah, that, like, the way I've described uh, it is basically in in the hands of a better, like, director. Not a better director, because Robert Rodriguez is a good director, but in the hands of someone more competent, the love story could have... They could have spent half the amount of time in the love story and yeah. still made it, like, feel like, oh, they're actually in love with each other. Uh, an example I'd point to is... Um, I mean, it's not the best example of the world, but Baby Driver. Have mm. you, you've seen that? Yeah. It's, it's so Baby Driver, like, the love story stuff is just a very minuscule part of the film, but you can still see the chemistry there and stuff. With Alita, it just wasn't 100% there for me. Watching some other reviews before I saw the movie, I thought it was going to be really bad cheesy. It was cheesy, but it wasn't like, oh, no, I want to die. It's, it, it wasn't that cheesy that to that degree I think because they delivered the lines like as best they could like the acting overall was um, yeah I really was impressed that's not a plus thing like yeah. there wasn't anyone that I was like oh my god who is this yeah. person Christoph Waltz was doing his standard Christoph Waltz thing yeah, he's, kind of he's being himself I kind of I kind of enjoyed his character because like you know most of his characters in other movies is, are kind of like I, you kind of know what I mean like disturbing well you could you could <laughs> say disturbing I, but like they're more like quirky almost they're like they have like this quality about them where he's like "Ooh, i'm christoph waltz and like yeah and this one he was much more subdued and it's like they twisted the quirky thing in a different way almost yeah because like you kind of when you're watching the beginning of the movie you you were wondering like who he is or like what he is doing late at night basically yeah (laughs) so i felt like that was kind of like written into his character but he didn't yeah. act like he, a weird person. yeah he wasn't like <laughs> he like because yeah that okay that's a good way to put it yeah christoph waltz usually plays kind of weird characters yeah they're likable like, you usually totally. like like especially in like you know examples like Django unchained and stuff and like in glorious no, actually well, he's he was really in, not like he was a nazi that in that, one. that was not good but yeah <laughs> he uh, 
but like yeah he always plays like these weird kind of almost sometimes creepy characters but in yeah. this one he kind of had a way more, he was way more subdued and some people might say that that was a waste of cr casting christoph waltz but honestly i thought he did a good job yeah, because like he always does a good job absolutely and yeah I, it it's one of those things where i think they would have been fine not having him in the movie but also he did a good job so yeah I don't know if that was a little bit of like trying to get people to come in and watch it. Yeah. Probably having him in know. that movie. It was you. They're like basically the star power that they had attached to this. There's people out there yelling. College students. <laughs> but basically, the star power they had attached to this movie was Mahershala Ali, who plays the main villain Vector, and yeah. um, Christoph Waltz, and then there was the one woman who that oh. I'm not gonna get into spoilers, but like. She, She's like, I I know I know I she's a her. I she's know. like a bigger celebrity, but I just don't remember her name, uh, in real life. And we'll put it in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll flash it on the screen and then point arrows at ourselves, saying "big dumb idiot, stupid heads." Yeah. And uh, yeah, there like honestly wasn't much star power, so it's like the marketing I think was done well to the point where it got you interested in. Yeah, I guess, did they, I didn't really hear about this movie until, like, a few weeks ago, I felt like. Did they just, like, I push remember marketing really strongly? I remember seeing a trailer for the movie, okay. like, early summer it. last year. Oh, like, okay, that was when I the, really missed it. The first trailer <laughs> dropped, but then they really started ramping up marketing, I think, in the past two months, two okay. or three months. I feel like they, the, like, with this type of movie, it's really hard to get butts in seats for an anime yeah. adaptation film because it's never been done very well before. Like, if you remember, uh, here, it's a little bit of story time. So one night we were chilling with our dad at home and he wanted to watch a movie and he hadn't seen Logan yet, but we had, and we wanted him to see it. And he was like, no, we're gonna watch a movie that none of us has seen yet. And then he watched a trailer for Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett Johansson. And I remember. <laughs> I hadn't heard. Oh I hadn't God. heard the best things about the movie, oh, and so I was like, "No, Dad, we should really watch Logan I instead. Not. It's a guaranteed better film because I've seen it and I liked it." And yeah. <laughs> so he re rented Ghost in the Shell that night, and the movie wasn't terrible, no. but it wasn't good either. You know, it's it's kind of a, a similar thing in I how. Didn't need to see it. In, like. This is, this movie is, Alita, is basically Ghost in the Shell if mm -hmm. it was better. Like, yeah, done, executed so right. better and done better in most ways. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, so basically we watched Ghost in the Shell and, like, it's really, because, like, it's really hard to fit in all of, like, if you're trying to make a movie adaptation of an anime. Obviously, in anime, you have a ton of episodes or even, like, you have a, a ton of, like, anime movies made for it and like the manga to go off of but like in a movie you've got to try and condense all of that into one like two hour yeah maybe three hour experience so this movie was close to two and a half hours i think mm -hmm. and ghost in the shell like it was just so slow and at the end of the movie my dad was just like this movie sucked and then we watched <laughs> logan afterwards anyway oh my God. <laughs> it was a double feature night yes that's the best but yeah i feel like that that was kind of the sort of negative side to Alita or what kind of got it not on like as high of a scale as it could have been is with the pacing and stuff you know what I'm saying like because yeah. it was based it is based on an anime so it just felt very condensed like there was too much in it but also not enough yeah you know what I'm saying like I feel like I wanted to know more like if okay the love story for instance there could have been less, but there could have been more better scenes, yeah. like, with them. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're, yeah. Just... Honestly, what they probably could have done, like, like I said, is, like, cut out about half the love story stuff. Make the half that's there really good and, yeah, make, and like, make know. you really buy it. And then have replaced the, the other half of time that was missing with, like, more world building and, like, intrigue. Totally. Be well, I feel like they could have introduced him later. Yeah. A little bit later. Because the one thing that, probably my biggest initial reaction to the movie that wasn't completely positive was how fast Alita, like, 
came in and was like totally chill with like not knowing anything about who she was or yeah. why she was there, like the world or anything. Like she just kind of was like fine with it. <laughs> like, yeah. And, like I would think. I mean, I don't know because I don't know what I would be like if with no memory, but I would think that you'd be a little bit more freaked out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, oh wow, like ten ish minutes into the movie and like. Oh boy, oh wow, okay. Yeah. I feel like we basically covered the baseline. Um, yeah. The villain, so the, uh, I guess we can just talk about the villain in like broad terms before we move into spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how did, so like there's like basically two villains. Well, like there's, okay, there's three tiers of villains. There's like one, a cyborg guy like the guy Mahershala Ali who is like the villain and mm -hmm. then there's like a big head honcho villain that's like pulling the strings and yeah. stuff so what did you how did you feel about the villain was it a serviceable villain or was it like yeah. I felt like it was a good villain like it maybe god I don't know how to say this but um it kind of goes along with the fact without doing spoilers um, like the villain was a bigger deal than you initially expected, which like, duh, it always turns out to be that way in movies like this. But, um, I don't know. It's like, cause you kind of go through the movie and you think that, like, I don't know. I was kind of assuming that like, okay, this is, these are all connected and whatnot, like to the bigger picture, I guess. But I don't know. It was, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. Do you yeah. get at all what I'm saying? Kind of like... <laughs> Well, the thing with the villain, too, is that it kind of goes into, like, the sequel setup. So, like, Mahershala Ali's character, I feel like they could have, like, they didn't need to cast Mahershala Ali as, the as like, the villain vector. No, like, the lower, because he... he's, like, a lower level kind of villain. Like, he's, like, still a big head, kind of head honcho guy, but he's, like... Ooh, sorry. I just, like, <laughs> I just got in my head what I want to say. So, I don't know, because, you know, like, they're underneath that big... What do they call it? Cloud City or I can't, something? I, I, I can't remember the name of the city. It's like Z Sa Z Salem? Z Salem? Salem? Salem. Yeah, Salem. 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 <laughs> I couldn't remember it yesterday, but then like it came back yeah. to me. Yeah, Zarum? I think it's Salem. Salem. Okay, anywho. So it just, like, you have this big thing looming ahead above everyone, and you know that it's like a bigger deal than is letting on, and you know right away that like the villain or the like head honchos are up there like they tell you that right away but you know nothing the entire movie of what it is like up there which i get is completely intentional but it almost led me a little bit i don't know to have a little bit of a disconnect between the villains because you're just down low and you d i don't know there's like it feels no... like a thanos yeah. Like, where Which I don't he, mind. Well, yeah, which if done like they did Thanos, which is, like, really fucking good. Yeah. Like, that can work. The only thing is, is that it's setting up for a sequel, which would obviously set up for the main head honcho villain man. Um, and then, like, that sequel would go more in-depth into who he is as the villain and stuff. And so... Yeah, it's... It's like they, I think maybe they did strike it because I'm feeling balanced between like wanting to know more and wishing I already knew a little bit more. So yeah. maybe that was probably their intention, but I don't know, I left the movie being like, oh, I want to know more, which is good because then I'm going to want to see the second movie, but also sad because it was wishing that I had a little bit more background to yeah. start off with. But at the same time, I get it because they were like trying, I don't know, I also now that I'm thinking about it, it's like they were trying to make us feel kind of like Alita was feeling. Yeah. How like we knew just as much as she started to figure out. Yeah. And I, I, I kind of like it when movies do that. Be, at least almost mostly. Almost like you feel the same frustration as like, the character. Yeah, because then it's like, yeah. what's up there? Like, who's the big guy? Who's mm -hmm. the big bad guy? And that kind of thing. And they, they don't give you very many hints as to who it is. But like, I think though, Mahershala Ali, they like, they kind of wasted his villain. They could have, heck, they could have even like, like I said, like with the extra time, if they did the love story stuff better, they could have developed his character way more. Even because... just a little background on him. 
Like, yeah, how like, did he get to where he th- was? There's a couple throwaway lines that kind of tell you what he's kind of about, but there's nothing crazy. Yeah, and, well, it's almost like why he does what he does, not how he got to where he yeah. is. All right, yeah. you want to head into spoilers? We probably should. All right. We're short on time. Spoilers! <laughs> End! <laughs> if you don't want to listen. Yeah, if you don't want to listen, skip, skip. Do this time tag. Go see the movie. <laughs> yeah, go see the movie, bitch. And then come back <laughs> if you want. If you, if thine wish. Okay, obviously we're more excited about is. the spoilers. Yeah, okay. So okay. this is probably going to be a short spoiler section because I feel like probably. we talk, we could talk about the movie enough without revealing anything. Yeah. But basically, so there's two major spoilers, which is the villain and also Alita's origins slash like things that happen with yeah. Alita. Yeah. So... Basically, you find out half, well, like, y- you know pretty quickly, like, because, like, it's, like, the first scene that she meets the love interest character, and it's it's funny, because I don't remember his name. Hugo. But, oh, yeah, Hugo. Wasn't it? Yes, it yeah. was Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> we just saw this last night, like, why yeah. is so hard to remember? And then, I do remember the doctor, obviously, Edo, because it's Christoph Waltz, but, yeah, um... Can't forget him. <laughs> but, basically, the first scene they meet, like... She, like, saves a dog and, like, does this, like, what seems like a defensive, like, fighting style of yeah. stuff. And so you're instantly like, okay, yeah. Okay. So she, there's she something has abilities in there. locked so, yeah. in her brain. She, she, has... she doesn't know where they come from. Yeah. And so basically then, like, leading into, like, the next couple scenes, she, real, she sees the doctor, Dr. Ito, Christoph Waltz, come home one night with, like, a cut on his arm and he's wearing like a jacket and he's carrying like a, ba- a bag and she's like confused yeah because she i don't know if she had heard yet or she finds out the next day that like women have been being killed lately yeah like out when they're out alone at night like they'll just be murdered yeah but so and she's like oh my god and so basically the murder. she follows him the next night when he leaves and quickly finds out that he is something called a um warrior hunter a Hunter Warrior? Hunter Warrior, yeah. Hunter Warrior. A hunter oh, warrior. We suck. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically, these people, like, there's bounties put on people in Iron City. Oh, right, we didn't even mention this. It's named, it's the oh, city yeah. below uh, Xenonort. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna come up with random names. But the city below the it is classic. Iron City, and so basically, like, crime is rampant. All guns are outlawed, um, so you can only use swords. And she finds out quickly that he's the hunter warrior he's like trying to stop the people that are doing the killing yeah the fight scene ensues and like she she's like holy shit she goes yeah she goes god mode and like takes out three three yeah three cyborg then she she like has a flashback kind of when she's doing that and then like we we didn't summarize this up in the like stuff in like the stuff but basically there was a war 300 years ago that like destroyed all the flying cities except for this one that was called the fall in the world and so basically all of humanity is living in this last city yeah and yeah and basically it was a war between the uh united republic of mars yeah. and the Urm, world Urm and the world and so basically we find out when they when they go out to find a ship in the badlands or whatever a, a, an Urm ship that so Alita goes in, and we find out that she was an Erm like battle android. She finds an, a new like android body for herself that like just like That's calls like, to her basically. Yeah, and it's, like she types in her number really quickly. Basically, she puts it on. She goes god mode essentially. Yeah, basically. I really enjoyed that part because it like you know it gives enough intrigue as to like oh this is what happened in the past and also to Alita's character. Yeah. Because it does flashbacks and like I don't know. Yeah, and again more. like it was really good at. I guess keeping us just level with her understanding of where she comes from and what she's doing and what her point is, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of when you learn, oh, start to learn more about the villain, like who the real villain is, which his yeah. name is Vig- Nova. Nova. So like they yeah. hint at it, and so basically you find out that Nova, the vi- the head honcho villain that is teased at the very end and a couple times to the movie, like. Where he does this cool thing where he like takes over their their body temporarily and like their yeah, eyes glow blue. blue and Creepy. he basically <laughs> he's been alive for three hundred years and he was the original like vi- person that Erm Alita- was yeah that yeah. Erm was trying to take that Alita's My, forces were basically trying to take the out. whole you find out the entire 
war the entire fall happened because um, the United Republic of Mars wanted Nova to die because I'm assuming that he's just, I mean, he's obviously a bad person, but yeah. we don't know. That's all we know, basically. We don't know why, what he was doing in the first place that was yeah. made it so bad. You find out that Alita's love interest, Hugo, is a scrapper, <laughs> and basically him and his friends go oh, yeah, find yeah. cyborgs. They paralyze them and then rip them of their parts and then sell them. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I don't know if this is where you're going, but we end up finding out that, what's his name, Vince? I don't know. What's the actor's name? <laughs> Mahershala Ali. So Mahershala Ali. Yeah. You find out that Hugo is working for him, like doing a lot of these things yeah. for him because he promised Hugo that if he gets a certain amount of money, that yeah. he will go up to um, Zalem. Zalem, yeah. He'll send him up to, yeah. the, to the rich city and so that's stuff. That's kind of a twist because like it's a little bit awkward because like... Lead a cyborg and like yeah. he's taking things from cyborgs. So and something we for, something we forgot to mention about the world building, I guess, is like that they have the games and stuff, and the only way to get up to Zalem or Zalem is like if there's an undisputed champion for a while, then that champion, like if he keeps winning enough, he or she keeps winning enough, then they get then sent, they up, get to sent up to uh, Zalem, which was pretty interesting. Just, I don't know. I I thought it was kind of a Cool thing it's kind of like mm -hmm. has like a, almost like Greek god type yeah situation or like feeling like to Olympus it like you go up to take your place among the gods quote unquote yeah totally like Alita eventually joins the battle because uh or joins like the games mm, and because Hugo yeah because Hugo talk, talk or says that Vincent Marshall Ali it's probably not Vincent I don't know why we can't remember it. If it is Vincent, then we're big dummy dummy two stupid heads. Um, <laughs> like, she goes to the game, and then the game is rigged, and she, like, because Krista Waltz's character instantly sees, like, those guys have bounties on their heads, and those guys are hunter warriors. Like, those oh, aren't normal, shit. those aren't factory guys, or something. And so, she he calls her, and he's like, they're gonna kill you. Which ones? All, All of them. them. That's like the biggest action scene. Yeah, where... the biggest action scene, and it's yeah. honestly, it's it's honestly worth the price of admission alone. Definitely, it was really amazing. Because it's just like every time I watch this... scenes like that, I'm like, how, how did they do this? Not even the effects, but like it just shows the actors' skill. Yeah. That like they can do all of this, which honestly, like her, she was obviously mostly CGI. It was just her face, but it's just like what? It's not even there. Yeah. And, like, they're still doing this. What? So cool. And so, basically, then, another character who's a, a hunter war warrior that they pissed off earlier is chasing Hugo and yeah. trying to kill him. Yeah. And he gets him, like, convict, like, he, like, frames him for murder, and basically. And then he, uh, bursts out of the, uh, like, arena. Of the arena. And to go save Hugo, because he calls her up and is like, I'm gonna die. Like, I'm dying. Come save me, because I'm a helpless human. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was against, a little whiny. The, against the other guy, yeah, basically. It was a little whiny. But, but like, I guess who was to say how I would react if I was someone yeah. was trying to kill me? <laughs> and, and then she finds out that he was scrapping cyborgs. And, and she, she's pissed. She gets a little pissed, and then she's like, doesn't know what to do because he has a bounty on his head. And then it's, the other guy stabs him in the yeah, stomach. Yeah, the guy that's... And he's it. dying. Then he's dying. So then she takes him to the other room, and then... Oh, right, we didn't get into this spoiler. So there's a character who's Christoph Waltz's former... Ex-wife. Like, Ex-wife. Ex-wife. And... Oh, basically, yeah. Basically, she left him because her daughter was killed by one of his patients, and she couldn't yeah. handle it, so he says. Um, so this woman... You find out, or the ex-wife, I'm so, so sorry. I so, like, throughout name. the whole movie, she's been trying to help uh, Mahershala Ali's character because she wants to go back to Zalm because her, they oh, yeah. used They're to live in Zalm. from there, but they were kicked out because of their daughter's illness. Yeah. And, Shitty people. And so, basically, <laughs> she's been trying to, she left him to try and get back to Zalm, and then she realizes in the moment when, like, um, Alita's seeing that Hugo die that she's, like, she like, the, like doesn't wait, want that I'm anymore. I'm not a bad person. I'm yeah. a mother, and I love people basically, and like yeah. I want to help. And them. that was kind of, kind of poorly done. I feel like she didn't have an, uh, that much development before that to really warrant that change of heart. But basically, she helps save Hugo. She cuts his head off, and then like they hook him up somehow to, to Alita's, Alita's heart. Yeah, body. 
and like keep him alive that way and then he gets a cyborg body and then it's all for nothing because he dies he dies afterwards because which i was really okay with like, yeah me too i was quite glad that they killed him off i was actually kind of disappointed this, this that he is... didn't die the first time <laughs> not that i didn't like in the end of, i didn't dislike them together just yeah. like the whole storyline of them was a little bit rough but i was very glad yeah i appreciated it felt that like they it felt were, like were dead weight because yeah. like it, it kind of got to the point where it felt like he was just kind of there and he was a he liability was and stuff Definitely. and like we didn't care enough about him to and alita care, was just right? willing to like do anything for him like no <laughs> but yeah so basically you are an independent strong Woman cyborg. <laughs> like, you don't need no man. But yeah, basically she has a flashback where like, so like there's these giant cargo tubes that go up to the city. Like, so like the Iron City produces goods in factories and stuff that sent, are sent up to the Sky City. And she has a flashback of when she and her like... Basically like how, her how she friends. ended up at the beginning of the movie you find out was because when her like team was trying to take down the city, which is the last city. They yeah. had these defense spike rings that like fell down the tubes on, yeah, on the and tubes. basically killed everyone. So she had that memory and then um, finds out from Ido that Hugo had to escape from um, the people, from like the warrior hunters that were looking yeah. for him because they realized he wasn't dead. He That he was trying to go up and climb those and she was like, oh shit, like, he gonna die because... Um, Nova like sees everything so she knew that he was gonna see him climbing so she like chases him up there and is like Hugo no come back down like this is bad we're in trouble this is dangerous and he's like oh but no we have to go up because we're just gonna always be running and yeah. always be chasing like be chased and everything and then she's like no get the fuck down like we gonna yeah. die and then he dies yeah, and then like the thing Nova comes down, <laughs> he jumps up, he gets like most of his body shredded apart, and then she's like holding on for dear life, and then his arm is breaking, apparently poorly it's a constructed, and <laughs> it breaks off, and then he <laughs> falls down, and Bye. then the end of the movie, it cuts to her after like two or three months of fighting in the arena, and she is like about He's to be the, the champ champion, about to be the undisputed champion, and yeah. go up to defeat. Edward Norton. <laughs> so basically, like you, like it feels like like the whole movie, like the, the few times so you, you see know, Nova. Like I know, I'm like I know who that is. Like, yeah, I've seen him before. Like you see his face, you like, see his face. You're like that has to be someone I know. And then he takes his glasses off at like, the end, yeah. and it's Edward Norton. I was literally like, what? What? <laughs> like, oh. you took an incredible Hulk, Bruce Banner. <laughs> It, se it ends with that scene and it sets up for the sequel, which I hope is made. I hope the movie makes enough money because I'm really interested in like what they have, what they will do with this yeah, it could world be really and cool. these movies. And I kind of hope that they yeah. do. But it feels like it's a complete enough story at this point. Like it obviously leaves off the cliff cliffhanger and you want to see more. Yeah. But it's still a, a semi-complete no, story. I was saying last night that like, as a standalone film, it's not as strong, but if it is in like a trilogy or a series, then it would be a really strong yeah. first movie. Yeah, it's kind of like watching Lord of the Rings, like Fellowship of the Ring. Like you watch it, you're like, wow, that was a really good movie, but what the hell happens next? Yeah. And so that's kind of what it feels like. And it's not by no means at the level of Lord of the Rings. If they make, if they finish out it out into a trilogy yeah. and the next two movies are like, killer as hell than it could possibly be but i don't think it's at that level well it was um, interesting though because when it ended i was more interested on in like i don't know about you but i was more interested in the past like the story of the fall and the war and yeah. why well because there's then, that like, really cool like moon scene where she's yeah, fighting on the moon, on the moon and shit super cool but then so i'm i'm more curious about like the history of this whole entire story than like what's gonna happen next because like you kind of assume that like Alita's a badass and she's yeah. like the strongest thing in the world and she's gonna yeah. kill Nova. And, the like, Panzer Panzer Berserker style of fighting or whatever that's like basically makes she's like god mode and yeah. no one can. So it's like if there's a second movie there's a part of me that kind of would like to see it like 
Mm. Before, like 300 years earlier, when the war happened. But basically, without the love interest, and with what's left, essentially, I feel like if they made a sequel, it could potentially be one of the better sequels ever made because. It, it feels like it would be really focused on, mm -hmm. like, the story and, build, like, fully on building the world and everything. Definitely. And so, yeah, you, we, we want to go ahead and rate this movie, finish up this review? I think it's time. Okay. To go to so, bed. <laughs> since this is our first review, if you're watching it, we came up with a rating system, like, that we wanted, we wanted to have a unique rating system for us. And we also wanted it to kind of get to the point. And so basically, if you look at our channel, I'm pretty sure on our channel banner, it's there too. Yeah, so I think so. It, we have meh is the smack middle, like eh. eh and then there's same. yes, hell yes, and fuck yes. <laughs> We're probably gonna have to bleep that in post. But, and then there's, on the opposite, there's no, yeah. hell no, uh -huh. and fuck no. We're hoping we're gonna stay in the yes region. And honestly, I feel like, I think I wanna give this movie a hell yes. I think that's fair. Because, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, in more of a yes, but at the same time, like, hell yes, just because of... I'm just really interested in what it sets up, honestly. Yeah, what it sets up, and then just the effects and the visuals, yeah. and all of that was the The visual, so yeah. Impressive. The visuals, the action, and... So, like, it could have, like, been even worse, and it still would have been, like, go see this movie in the theater, because, like... Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, know, all right. It, yeah. What are you giving it? I think same, yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes, yeah. Because, like, right. I would go and see it again, honestly, and yeah. it was entertaining. Like, I was never bored. The yeah. storyline is super interesting. There's, of course, like, a little bit of plot mm -hmm. lows and stuff, but um, I don't know. You know, it's funny because our dad really wants to see this movie. We have no idea why. Uh, like legitimately no idea why I think it just he thinks the visuals look really cool and it looks Is he, he liked Avatar, right? Like maybe it's because so. it's James Cameron. I but don't know. But he uh, so basically what I'm saying is um, Your dad would say that this movie is okay <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because our dad he always gets fun for a movie then he sees it. Yeah, it was it all right fine. So <laughs> dad, okay approval <laughs> So yeah, and also, I guess since it's the end of the video, um, if you really enjoyed this, if you s somehow made it through this channel with barely any subscribers, if at all any, I don't think and we have a single one yet. <laughs> yeah, you really if you really enjoyed this review, <laughs> yeah, and you want to like see us grow, like hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, Am I gonna get better from here? Yeah, we, we there's it's only uphill from here. Yeah, it's uh, like the lowest it can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, but yeah, and like, if you want to start a discussion about the movie in the comments, like, like we'll, we'll read them. We'll, we'll yeah. respond and everything. And so if you want to talk about the movie, just leave a comment. And yeah, let's we'll start a discussion about movies. Because more than anything, this channel is about discussing love for movies. And yeah, because we yeah. love movies. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be, we want to make movies. Yay. She wants to make costumes. I want to do the rest of the work. Setters take over Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting cut. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. See you guys now in our next review, whatever it happens to be. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>